How's it going, gamers? It's time to play the game! We're gonna smash it off again. Go into the morgue this time, guys. Into the basement. We just de defeated that weird, kind of janky looking guy in the background. We got a scalpel from him, and we've been told to go down into the morgue for some unknown reason. And we're gonna go and investigate more about these twins. See where this story leads us. If you enjoyed this video, smash like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for further updates from me. Let's just jump right into it, guys. Okay, so we are back in the game, guys. We are on caution, I think. No danger. Oh my god, we're in danger. We need we need some morphine big time. We can't get hit. So that's that's fantastic. West Wing Corridor. Okay, so the only way down is through the elevator. And we're gonna have to put that um little cart in on the um on the door so that we can kind of well make sure it doesn't jam on us. We need to definitely make sure we remember to do that actually, because that is one of those things that we can't mess up on because the the steel um, the steel, what's it called? I can't remember what it's bloody called now. The steel bolt. The steel bolt is, uh, what's tying us to that door. We can't get through that door otherwise. We definitely need some morphine. Our girl here is just not having a good time. We're exploring somewhere new as well, like near the morgue. Please don't let there be someone in here now. Okay, sweet. Don't hear anything in here. So we need to go to the morgue, so we need to go back this way, back through the pharmacy, and the waiting area. I mean, luckily we killed all of these guys. So that's that's a win. Imagine doing this game with a no-kill playthrough. I mean, I don't think you could do it, because you'd have to kill that scalpel guy. Mate, she just looks horrified. Look at her. <laughs> this way. I'm expecting a new enemy or something soon, if we're not careful. You would hate living in this house, wouldn't you? Let's be honest. I mean, this was some guy's home. And it's just gradually deteriorated. It's either he's gone mad, or something else has gone on. Maybe he's gone mad because he's... because his daughter's... Oh, shit. Okay, thank God, he's dead. Let's reload. Yeah, he's definitely dead. I don't think he's coming back, that guy. Hopefully not, anyway. Alright, can we go to the morgue? It's locked from the other side. The generator room? There's a generator room, x-ray room, and the morgue that we need to get into to con it, it connects the lot. I wonder what that B means. So, service area. Whoa, shit. We get hit once, we're dead, bro. God damn it, so much danger. So much danger. We literally can't get hit once more at all. Ooh. A pipe with an attached handle. It smells like smells like sulfur. I missed that last time. So is that combined with that? Okay, so a shotgun has been made from modified items. Right. Equip. You can only you can only have one bullet in it, which I don't understand that, because it is like a pipe shotgun. Okay. Scalpel on that. Okay, sweet. Boiler room. Okay. Fridge doesn't seem to be operational. More shotgun shells. Oh, dude. Oh, 
Whatever this is, man, we can't fight it because we haven't we're not in the light. Oh man, don't like this. Diary. Maria has lost another child. This is the third. Wow. I do not know how I find the strength not to falter. But I must be strong for both of us. Maria's condition worsens by the day. Her body may be damaged, but it is her mind that worries me most. She says, not a word. And her eyes have stopped reacting when exposed to light. She no longer recognizes me and startles when I try to draw close. Oftentimes, she is so disorientated that she screams and breaks everything in her path. I can stop her only with an injection. I know that Maria, my Maria, is somewhere inside that damaged body. She worsens. Today, I witnessed an awful sight as I entered her room. She stood in a pool of blood, lashing her own back with a whip. I grabbed her by the wrists, but she fought back while screaming at the top of her lungs. I called in a paramedic to help me sedate her and put stitches across her entire back. How could she do this to herself? What goes on inside her head? At least tonight, she will sleep soundly. By God, what have I done? Maria, will you ever forgive me? Okay, so there's a bit of a time jump from that one. Whoa! Can't take a hit, man. We need the frickin' power on, dude. That, that thing's not following me. Whoa. He's taking a risk. Yeah. No. Not happening. So low on health. Just gotta get round here, man. Like, but there's no, there's no real way. Take a hit. Basement West? Come on, please let there be light in here or some morphine or something. Hey, this is just, just, it's just horrifying, some of the stuff. Like, there's just guys in weird gas mask suits, dude. We are so done if we get, if, if there's anything in here, man. What an awful place to die. That's just turned upside down for some reason. No way you can go. I mean, we are in danger, dude. Nails. You know, thanks, but I kind of need a frickin' thing. Frickin' morphine. Severed hand is in the toilet bowl. A small metal dial, there are symbols around the edge. Oh, thank God, a bit of morphine. It's just back to caution, though. Whoa! <laughs> a body was hidden inside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Oh, man. So we're back on danger again. Oh, man. Uh, please let there be something around here. Morphine again. Oh no. Of her two twin of her two twin babies, Miriam Morizet, in the process of delivery gives birth to her first baby, Noah, but unfortunately the other twin passed away as soon as the umbilical cord was cut. At the moment of the causes of this ultima untimely death are unknown. We hope the autopsy will give us some answers. We 
It's too dangerous to step inside this water. Oh man. Oh. So we need to turn the generator off. Right, turn off the power. And then we should be able to get through the water, yeah? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Okay, zero power. Now we can't attack at all. Because for some reason we can only hold a lighter in one hand and not a nailer in the other. Let's make our way back up to that area where it was flooded then with the electricity. Mate, this area is just so much more creepy with no lights on at all. I mean, what are we on here? We're on caution now. So, I mean, we could get hit once or twice, but we kind of don't really want to get hit at all. Yeah, okay, nice one. This should turn off the dangerous electricity. Oh, uh, I think we went the wrong way. Oh god, one more hit and we're done. Oh, we're in the morgue. Maybe we got we can't get hit. We just can't get hit at all. What is that? You're not you're not bothered about that, no, you're not you're not You're not looking at what that is. Oh man. There's dead bodies moving. But you're bothered about the trash pile and it smells awful. You're not bothered about the frickin' you know, the twins that are in that little, you know, thing there. Torsos the sheet is concealing a pair of human legs, but it's moving. This body appears to have been operated on multiple times. It doesn't even look human anymore. Oh, man. Yo. We're just unraveling more of this mystery, aren't we, eh? So... Yeah, that looks like that can be moved. Oh man. Experiment room. There better not be something in here. We've got like one health. Yep. Okay, I think we should probably turn the power back on. We should go back and turn the power back on, guys. Because we're just running around in the dark now. For no reason, with one health, you know. Sweet, man. At least we could defend ourselves now. I appreciate the lights being on, guys. Is it going to be... No. Okay, so it's kind of pointless doing that. Oh. Shotgun, let's give that a go. Holy shit. Oh no. Try this again. Oh. Oh, right, okay. Well, that, that's helpful. That helps a big time. Big, big, big time. Right, lower it back into the light. Is that a one bomb? Wow. I did quite a bit of damage to that thing. Right. What a lovely picture to go to bed with. That's... First aid kit, nice. Okay, so we're back to fine. I mean, who the hell would live down here, man? It's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> I'm 
We'll take one hit, that's fine. Got to smash this guy up now, hopefully. Shotgun's OP. Oh, fucking darkness in this game is like annoying as shit. Who put these bodies here? Okay, basement west. So hopefully there's more candles. So we can light up more chandeliers. If that's where they are. Like, you know, lantern chandeliers. There's, a, there's no candles in here. Okay, small metal dial. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hey. That is fantastic. We needed that right there. Right, we'll go in. Swap to shotgun. I don't think he's dead. He is now. Hey yeah, mate, you come all the way back here, dude. Oosh! In the face. Straight down. Yeah, this shotgun's OP. Should have been using it from the get-go. Okay, before we before we go any further, I'm going the morgue. Because that would lead us back to the generator room. Unlinking doors, man. We're just linking doors, you know what I mean? Generator on. Blood is seeping out of the door. I'm not going to open it. Why not? Whoa! Whoa, okay. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't scary. No, that was that wasn't scary at all. Okay, dude, you're coming for us, aren't you? You're gonna come again, are you? You badass. I wonder if we can finish him off with that. Yeah. Ain't worth wasting a, uh, a shotgun shell. Yeah, more morphine. See, isn't it weird now that we're finding, like, loads more morphine? We've got, like, three morphine there. We're on fine because we found a med kit. Jeez. Right. 9th of November, 1981. I have located my father's secret laboratories. They were hidden behind a secret passage in the morgue. The experiments are working. I was able to replicate Maria's condition by injecting her blood into the dying man at the ho into a dying man from the hospital. I declared him dead on a medical report. No one will note his passing. Shit, man. He has, become, he has begun to show the first symptoms. If everything goes as planned, I will be able to administer the first antidote before long. I ventured into the forest searching for something, anything, that could lead me to my little girls. But, as usual, I found nothing. At dawn, I returned to the mansion and stood paralysed in front of the door that was once theirs. I cannot find the strength inside of me to open it. I genuinely believe that if I open that door, and I do not see them inside, sleeping soundly, I will not be able to keep on living. June the 1st, 1987. Test number 25 showed promising results, but only for a moment. After five minutes, the subject dissolved into a pool of blood. Nevertheless, I am not discouraged. After five years of experimentation, I consider this progress. Jesus. Right, so he's trying to, what, bring his... Is he trying to bring his wife back to the living? Like, she's obviously got some kind of illness. The words have worn away. I can't read them. What the hell is this? Okay, I don't know if I should have pressed that or not. I just pressed a random button. What is going on, man? Dude, do I want to go down here?
It's terrifying, man. Somebody died behind these bars a long time ago. God, it was a young child. Oh, bro. Uh. Fuck me, man. You're, if anything, putting them out of their fucking misery. I mean, look at the state of that. It's just, who the hell creates shit like that? Tape. Experiment room 15th of the... Right. It was written on the table. On the, on the tape. So there must be a reason as to why we need to get in there. So what, do you just press any one and they'll just all work? Or what? What are you saying? Nothing else to do here. Oh, so I just must... I must have just pressed the right one, right? Coincidentally. Like, I, I, mate, I didn't even know what was going on. Okay, so... I think I've, I think everything's done in here. I can't don't think of anything else. Right, we need to find. So there was a a uh, where, where it said there was someone living here. There was a tape player, uh, a VHS player, wasn't there? Please don't be like there be anything else out here. Come on, you know we've had enough jump scares for today now. <laughs> yeah, that shotgun was like an absolute godsend before. Can I not use? I'm sure there was a tape. Is it not a tape player? No. What the hell's that cereal? Morgans. <laughs> Right, yeah, so nothing here. One sec. Let's tr let's try and think then. Where was that? Need to find where a VHS player will be. I thought that w I thought that would have been one. Clearly not. I wonder if it's got anything to do with that other door that I unlocked. You know the um, the way up. Uh, there was like a there was like a ladder, I think, that went up into the meeting room. Got a good vibe about that. I wonder if we'll just try there. I'm pretty sure that this is where that ladder was. It was over here, wasn't it? Fire escape. Is this is this where it this this looks like it'll be something, doesn't it? Yeah, nice. Okay, play. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Okay. Oh, what you can go through that? <coughs> What? What? So we're back in the experiment room now. This game's crazy. What? Oh, it's no. It's got no face. This body was undergoing a medical procedure in a place like this. Oh man. So there's clearly like lots of uh, experiments going on here, isn't there? Look at that head mask thing, dude. Ugh. A foul smell emanates from this body. A calendar in 1980. <sighs> Jeez. Okay, so will this not be worn now? Peonies, roses, or jasmine flowers, I could never remember. Though I still feel the butterflies in my stomach. Her cold skin under my caress. How she loved the poems I would whisper to her. The disappointment I felt when I had to let her go. It wasn't until much later that I was able to scream into the wind. Okay, so you gotta press them in the order of the poem, I'm guessing, right? Okay, right, so let's think about this. Head, stomach, heart, throat, scream into the wind, and hand? No? So, head, stomach, hand, throat, heart, throat. Oh my god, that was horrible. But we did it, guys. We, we managed to do it. What is down here now? There's a little girl, all oh, right, so th that's one of the little girls. So we must be in the past then, when we go in. Th how are we doing this? Like, how is this possible? So she's, she's in the future and she's a skeleton. Kind of looks like us though, doesn't it? Oh, 
What is going on? Who are you? You don't seem to be one of them. Mate, this this has just gone mental, hasn't it? Like one of them? What are you doing down here? My grandfather and those men in suits locked me down in this cell. Please, miss. You have to help me get out of here. Well, we'll try. Of course I'll help. Stay calm, okay? Everything will be all right. I promise. Okay, miss. But you're going to fuck up space-time and shit like that. You don't want to get into all that kind of shit, like multiverse and Rick and Morty stuff or whatever. Like, this is... You know, if you pull her through... Right. And that's going to fuck up time because she's supposed to be dead in the cell, right? I'm pretty sure that that's how it's... So if you pull her through that, that recording, you're going to be pulling her into the future, right? Is that, is that, is that I'm making sense there? Like... Where are your parents? My father is on a business trip. He should be back in a couple of days. And my mother was also captured by those men. I'm so sorry. I'll get you out sorry. of here. First, we need to find a way to open the door. What do you plan to do, miss? Those men in suits took the key with them. And I don't think it's a good idea that you get close to them. It's all right. I got a shotgun, mate. I'm sure there's a way to get the lock off without using the key. Please hurry. There isn't much time. We need to save Mother. We'll get you out. Just wait a little longer. Okay, right. So that's the plan of action now, right? Get the little girl out. There's a freaky looking skeleton in a box there. Oh. Another save file. We haven't saved in a while, so we should probably do that soon. Okay, so we need to figure a way of getting her out. But is, there's no way out of here, is there? Unless we go through... See, that, that, that's been barricaded or something. I'm pretty sure that's where we came from in the other world. So is, is there something in here that I've got to use? No, nothing there. Okay. Can't remove the chain. Okay. I feel like we need something for the locked door. We're gonna have to come back for a... We're gonna have to have a little look around here. Mate, I've been looking around... I've been looking around for ages, man. I'm not gonna lie, I've been up and down this whole place. This is the only area on the west wing now that I haven't actually been. So... This, is, this has gotta be it, right? Somewhere around here in the chapel area. So we'll start off with the kitchen. There's got to be something I've missed somewhere. There's nothing in here. There's just that freezer. I don't think that wheelchair guy's down here anymore. I think I killed him, right? Yeah, killed him. Bottle of nitric acid. That will corrode metal over time. Is that it? Is that what I need? Oh my god, I tell you what, I've been at this for 40 minutes, like, running around trying to find what the hell that would be. And you know what I mean? I'm glad I'm not streaming this, because, I mean... I think, I think everybody would have left by now. <laughs> I was just running around aimlessly trying to find something to just get rid of it. And it's so lucky that I found that, to be honest. Right, so we need to... Where are we going now? I forgot. Oh, Jesus. We need to go back to the main area, right? And it upstairs. It was in the meeting room. Is this the meeting room? No, this is the dressing room. I think what we should do is, is just save it anyway. Oh, God. We just didn't want to go in there at all. Meeting room's this side then. Right, okay. Yeah, sweet. We haven't saved it for, for a long time, man. I do feel like we should save it. Where am I now? I hate how the map doesn't keep up with you. That, that, that is really frustrating in this. Where the fuck am I? Usually flashes at where I am. <laughs> I'm in the library. Right, okay, so I'm here. Go out and then... I still think that knocking door puzzle was just like the most... Uh. 
That would be so frustrating if they decided to cut my head off then. Okay, sweet. So we're going to save it. After going through that strange projection, I found myself in a place I'm sure I have been before. So I'm sure... Is she she's rescuing herself then? Is that... Is this... I don't know. But it was different. As if it was the same place at another time. It gave me a feeling I didn't belong. I discovered something terrible. A young girl locked in a cell. Who could do such a horrible thing to a child? So I wonder if she's uncovering her own memories. There is a robust lock holding the cell door. I don't think I'll be able to locate the key, so I should find another way to open it. I have to get her out of there. Okay guys, so this is where we're going to leave this episode. Has been a bit of a nightmare one for me, like with the puzzles. But we have got there in the end. Like we're going to go use the acid to save the little girl, which could be us in the past. And we've just totally forgotten about it. Possible theory. But we'll see where it happens next. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Smash the subscribe button if you can for more Let's Plays from me. And also hit the notification bell so that then you will never miss another video again. See you again soon, guys, on the next episode. Later, gamers. Bye.